And we have a nice rod back Windsor chair. Circa 1815. Maybe 1820 at the latest. Chair was made in New Hampshire. It's signed on the bottom. Back then when they signed chairs, they signed them uh, with a brand. They heated a brand and they burned it into the wood. <clears throat> One way you can tell a New England chair, especially a later chair, is the rain gutter. Normally the rain gutter is in the back like right through there. But on many New England chairs, the rain gutter continues to the front, like you see there. You can tell this is a later chair because the stretchers are boxed, box stretcher versus an eight stretcher. You see on the leg there, three rings, imitation bamboo, instead of the two, and that makes it a later chair. It was a chair and again converted to a rocker. Many of these were converted, but at this time when this chair was converted, it was used more for what rocking chairs are uh, used for today, just to sit and rock, instead of earlier in the 18th century where they were used by women to rock babies. Seven spindle back, a nice hand carved scroll. I'm not sure if I can get that to focus. Maybe over here. It's all hand carved. Of course you can't get it to focus because the camera doesn't know what to focus on. And what makes this chair really unusual is those finials. You could see those bald finials. And each one of them are made by hand, begging to be broken over 200 years, and not one of them has ever broke. And my question is, who would order a chair or a set of chairs with finials like that? With kids in the house or grandkids or whatever. Many of these chairs were designed to put a shawl over the back so you could cushion your back from the harshness of the spindles. That would be hard to do with those finials. And that's kind of why I bought the chair. Each one of them is hand done. So I'm not sure why that was done. I've never seen any chair with those type of finials. But a nice rod back chair made in New Hampshire. I'm from New Hampshire. So I kind of enjoy having this. Very thin rockers as the bottom leg had to be cut a little bit to fit the rocker. And as you can see, the stretchers, not the typical H stretcher of the earlier chairs. So a nice, really a nice rod back Windsor from about 1815-ish. Really nice, very unique. Very unique chair, I really enjoy this chair. Thanks for watching.